the century, I want to uh, read a prologue to the novel that I'm writing, and it's set prior to um, prior to Beloit College's founding, and in the period when Abraham Lincoln, uh, in a, as a soldier in the United States, came to the campus uh, prior to. At, he came to the land that would eventually become the campus. And so then this kind of sets the stage for a lot of the uh, motivation I have for expressing the idea of polar opposition happening on campus and the different types of characters that emerge there <clears throat> and maybe even the stories that can be uh, evoked in uh, discussions among the students there about different things that they have known about that have happened throughout the history of the college. So it seeks to be kind of weave in history and um, a hypothesis that I've had for a number of years about how various places on the earth because of what because of things that have happened in the past have affected um, the gravity of the earth and consequently have a kind of influence on our mind. And it's not, um, it's not a lunatic's theory. It's a theory of, of someone who has thought about like the forces of gravity and how everything, according to Newton's laws, is affected by gravity. And so how gravity could affect the human mind also and create oppositions or different structures in our mind and ways of thinking about things. Um, black and white, for example, being something that conditions the way we think of things. And so I try to bring that out in this context.